pull up a chair and get comfortable. It's time to talk about your federal benefits. Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators presents the FABC Podcast with Elizabeth Inman and Brian Fentress. Hello, hello, I'm Elizabeth Inman over at Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators bringing you an extremely important topic today. So last time we started this series on Federal Employees Health Benefit Plan versus Postal Service Health Benefit Plan. I've told you, it's one of the most important topics that I've brought to you since I started my second career over 13 years ago. Everybody needs to pay attention you know, why is this so important to you? Because it's not just going to affect postal service employees. It's not just going to affect postal service retirees. It's going to impact federal employees and federal retirees as well. But the good news is we're doing these podcasts. We're doing these videos to educate you, to prepare you so that you're going to be ahead of the curve and you're going to be ready for the curveballs when they come at you. I'm just telling you, get ready. There'll be some curveballs. There'll be things that nobody thought of, nobody expected, but you're going to be more prepared than most because you're paying attention to this eight part series. And we're going to continue to bring you updates all the way through 2025 when this new law goes into effect. Now the law itself, the Postal Service Reform Act was passed in April of 2022. It doesn't go into effect until January, January 1 of 2025. However, in part one, our series, we told you that starting November the 11th of 2024, the open season that year starts when you will have to select your plans that are available for the new Postal Service Health Plan. Now, that's for postal employees. What does that have to do with federal employees? Well, it has a lot to do with federal employees because what's happening right now is we have the whole ball of wax right now today is the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan. That includes federal employees, federal retirees, postal employees, postal retirees. They're going to take a huge chunk of that, postal employees, postal retirees, and create a new system. Federal employees stays, so they say, the same. Now, have you printed off the new law that was enacted, the Postal Service Reform Act of 2022? Did you print it out as a federal employee, as a postal employee? Because there's impacts to both of y'all inside that law. Did you read it for yourself? I did. And yes, indeed, there's some guarantees in there for 2025. The guarantees that the premiums should be about the same and the payouts should be the same is for the current year, 2025. But after we take this pool risk, all insurance is created under a pool risk. How many people are covered? Federal postal employees, federal, federal postal retirees. What's the risk? How many claims do they have? How many dollars of payouts claims do they pay? And that determines the premiums. When they take a huge chunk out and create a new pool risk, that's never been an individual pool risk before. That means the new federal pool risk is brand new. They can't predict with certainty what those premiums are going to end up being because they can't predict with certainty exactly what the payouts are going to have to be. Now, do they have some idea? They do, but there's still some unknowns. There's some unknowns such as they're going to require over here in this category of postal service employees, postal service retirees, that they now are forced to take Medicare Part B. That's going to impact claims being submitted, claims being paid that will skew the data they currently have for payouts, which means that once again, that's been pulled from the federal plan. A lot of federal employees may have Medicare Part B or may be considering to have Medicare Part B based on conditions that was taking place prior to this switch. Automatically, you can see that there's a potential 
change to the plans that federal employees may be facing. Not to mention inside of the plan itself, federal employee health benefit plans. Right away, you can already see that, that the plans that's been available to the totality of those two groups may not be available to postal employees, postal retirees. That's right. You heard me right. Listen to me. You may have a plan now under the big plan, Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan, but under the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan, it may not be available. You need to be prepared for that come open season starting in November 2024. That's the reason I'm going over this information with you way in advance, preparing you to start doing your research. Point number one that I said last time in part one is that you're required to select a health insurance plan in the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan during the 2024 open season, season that starts November the 11th, 2024 and ends December the 9th of 2024. Now today, part two, we're covering that the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan options and premium information will be available in October of 2024. Oh wow, they're giving you a whole month. Good luck finding information before October 2024. It's a whole new system. I mentioned this last time. OPM is experimenting with making this a cloud platform. They're experimenting with making this a cloud platform that impacts how you're going to get the information, that impacts how federal employees are going to get information. You hear what I'm saying? Just again, Education is power. And the good news is, that's what we're here to give you, is education. That we will continue to filter the information out to you as quickly as we get it. We're going to do our best to get it broadcast out to you. That's why it's important that you know you can find us on Facebook at the Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators web uh, Facebook page. That you can find us on LinkedIn. Elizabeth Inman, LinkedIn, that you can subscribe to our podcast. You can find our webinars. We'll be doing webinars on the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan um, as well. So you can, you can actually attend our webinars on these topics. Be sure and tell your friends about it. And don't forget YouTube videos. You can find us on YouTube. Surely one of those avenues is a little bit easier for you to operate than another. I know a lot of my friends aren't on Facebook. Good for them, <laughs> but they'll watch a YouTube video. Our website's www.febcnow.com. We've got so much material on our website. We've got a TSP calculator that I think is the best thing. I mean, it's better than any video game because you can insert all kinds of imaginary scenarios of the what ifs. What if I put this much money into my TSP? What will that look like by the time I retire? It's so much fun. You ought to go in there and just experiment with them. You can do a risk number right off of our website. See how risk tolerant you are with your TSP. Or you can contact me just at my email, elizabeth at febcnow.com. I had a sweet, sweet lady from Minnesota that I got to spend a little over an hour with yesterday. And she said, I've listened to lots of people, lots of podcasts. I've seen lots of YouTube uh, channels. But she said, Elizabeth, nobody connected with me quite like you connected. I'm telling you what, she just made my whole day. <laughs> and we talked about a lot of information. And she kept saying, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did you just say? And she's writing as fast as she can write. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't they tell us that? Why don't they? Now, this woman had all of her documents ready. She wants to retire in August. Every document was ready, prepared in advance to have a Zoom meeting with me. And yet, with all of the documents available from her agency, she was still going, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What did you say? And then why don't they tell us that? Well, guess what? I'm telling you that. And I'll share all the information that I have with you and all it takes is just one phone call one contact information submitted on our website it's just as easy as pie how about that can't wait to talk to you